Dear friends, greetings to you in the name of Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So thank you so much for joining in this special prayer. For God is a prayer answering God. Today he is going to answer all your prayer and he is going to make you happy. So our God is a great God but he is all the time mindful for the simple people, those who are in the lowest state. So we should all the time thankful to him because he is chosen us. He is... Uh, uh, very much he is loving us all the time his mind is upon every one of us so if you read the bible from the genesis to revelation he used to choose the people for great purpose and plan so god's selection is unique he is uh, choosing he is select the people for the great purpose those who are living with a broken heart the people those who are rejected by the worldly people god used to choose them and exalt them and use them mightily so today also god is chosen you you should know that i am chosen by the lord for the great plan and purpose so like that every time all the time you have to claim the god's great blessing he already given to you so in this world sometimes if we able to get the great one kind of the selection for example those who are preparing for the civil service the upsc if they gone through they used to so happy because they achieved a great thing they are selected so more than that you we should know that first i am selected i am chosen by god for great purpose so jesus christ he bled and died for us and rose again on the third day from the dead he is going to come back as a king of kings and the lord of lord so he chosen us he selected us for a great plan and purpose we should know that and then automatically in our lives there will be a there must be a great change and transformation several times we are forget we are unable to understand the great calling the great uh, kind of a god selection upon us that's why we are easily targeted by the devil the evil we are going through sorrows we are going through worries fear many things finally we are totally going away from the lord this is the plan of the devil he is like a roaring lion he want to catch the people in this end time you should know that i am a chosen generation i am the royal priesthood as per the bible today also we are going to meditate in short uh, how the lord is choosing the selecting the people for great plan and purpose for that you should claim this i am chosen by the lord i am called by the lord he knows my name he is personally he shed his blood for me i am redeemed i am uh, i am the lord is glorified me through my life such a way you have to climb the great uh, god's blessings already given to you so bible very clearly says uh, how the lord is selecting choosing the people for a great plan and purpose romans chapter 8 verse 30 you turn your bible romans chapter 8 verse 30 here the bible says god is chosen the people and having chosen them he called them then he those who are called he gave them the right to standing with himself standing with jesus and having given them the right standing he gave them his glory also so here the bible very clearly says we are chosen by god to stand with him close to him some kind of a great celebrities some kind of a great uh, vips if they are coming if you are meeting them uh, unexpectedly immediately if we stand nearby them we are so proud and we used to take uh, selfies many things we used to show them i stood with that person such a way we used to have a great kind of a pride within us but here the bible says we are chosen we are selected by god to stand with jesus close to him next to him so you are called by god selected by god to stand next to jesus also the bible says he called you to seated with him ephesians 2 6 says so like that the select the god's calling the purpose for of your selection is to be with jesus so also here the bible says if we are every day continuously standing with jesus the bible says romans 8:30 he given them the 
glory he shared the glory upon jesus was come upon us colossians uh, it clearly says 127 the christ jesus is living in our heart as a hope of glory so this is a great uh, secret to the great message apostle paul through his spiritual great understanding he want to share with everyone through the holy spirit Christ Jesus as a hope of glory he is living in us if you understand this you will fully restored your health you will not go through any depression you will not go through any unwanted badly kind of a evil things you will understand that the glory of Jesus Christ is upon me through the holy spirit today dear friends you are chosen by god god is chosen you you are selected by god to be with him you should know that then one by one the god's plan will be start to fulfill in your life romans chapter 11 verse 29 here the bible says the god who chose the people the select the people so here the bible says god does in take back the gifts he has given or disown the people he has chosen many chosen people's life they used to go through the lots of problem lots of downfall they used to forget by every people sometimes the people used to think no one is ready to help me no one is able to help me in this world such a situation will come but here the bible says the chosen people go through such a problematic situation and the very painful the path of sorrows the god's gift the god's selection the god's calling upon them it will not be revocable it will not be take back it will continue to fulfill the great purpose in their life so you should uh, claim these promises of god every day you have to pray to god and the god is ready to bless you the bible god chooses uh, selected many people so but one a uh, type of selection the people the worldly people used to select and choose the people by looking their physical appearance uh, and the physical stature and their status only but Jesus is choosing the people by looking the heart so in the army if you the selection is going on the army people used to select the people those who are with a good uh, stature with a good kind of a uh, uh, height and weight and such a way only the people used to outward appearance by looking only they used to choose the people so the same way king saul used to take the great people the people those who are in good appearance and the might people so he the david's brothers all of them are very height and they are very talented so king saul selected all the brother of david except david but god is looking the heart that's why bible says if you read isaiah chapter 60 verse 22 the little one the small one the least one became a great nation so the same way first corinthians chapter 1 verse 27 28 here also bible very clearly says first corinthians chapter 1 27 28 god chose the foolish things of the world put shame the wise he chose the weak things of the world to shame the strong he chose what the world thinks is not important he chose what the world hates and thinks thinking is nothing he chose this to destroy what the world thinks is important so david had a great heart and great desire to fight over the enemies but he was rejected by the people so but what is the god's heart if you read first samuel chapter 16 verse 12 and 13 god sent samuel to david's home and there is a selection process is going on all the big people the height and weight people are coming one by one but god is telling rejected 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 samuel was so confused what i will do so finally he is asking is there any your sons are there for you so one small boy is there and samuel is telling bring him so bible says 
once king david enter the god is speaking to samuel that is very important bible says god is speaking to samuel this is the person go and anoint him so such a way god is chosen the small people for the great purpose and plan the anointing came upon david if you are chosen by the lord dear friends the anointing of the holy spirit will come upon you then whatever may be the problem come whatever may be the situation come you may go through the different kind of a painful sorrowful tearful situation but the anointing for the selected people will take them into the great god destiny towards their success god is looking your heart today love jesus more from your heart take away all the worldly things from your heart and because bible says our heart is the temple of the holy spirit if you are selected by god we should live a holy life if we selected by jesus christ we should read the bible more we should pray more the worldly things should not enter our heart because we are selected and chosen by god for great plan and purpose pray more read the bible more wait for the lord for your miracle continuously don't give up your prayer life surely jesus will come and exalt you and the great god's plan will be surely fulfilled in your family so the rejected the neglected joseph he became a prime minister god selected him but he gone through lots of ups and down one particular time he was in the prison no hope but bible says the god's word used to talk to joseph every day he is a man of prayer and meditation so such a way from his heart he is uh, keep on pray to the lord and he received the great god's blessings in his life the person who doesn't have any hope doesn't have any good food he blessed by god to feed the lakhs and the thousands of millions of the people through the god's blessings so if you read this genesis 45 verse 5 in the here the bible says it was really god who sent me ahead of you to save people's life there is a god's plan in your life god is selected you are selected by god for heavenly purpose you should know that so if you are understand that things you have to pray more you have to fully connect with god all the time you, he you you used to talk to god face to face so that is the great uh, kind of a practical things we have to do every day through prayer so god selected esther in the bible she was a rejected person she was a orphan the uh, the esther's parents died the bible says if you read esther chapter 27 at the death of her parents mordecai had adopted her and brought her up as his own daughter so here the chosen the selected esther filled with the spirit of prayer and uh, she saved the entire uh, the community of jewish people so the bible talk about many people many people they are selected from their low estate so you can see rahab so rahab chosen by the lord and uh, she also selected by god for great plan and purpose so the rejected ruth in the book of ruth the rejected lady ruth was selected by god for a great plan and purpose so the main thing she took the god of israel in her heart i will never leave him i will never leave him such a faith she followed the god so that's why the rejected ruth became a great uh, person uh, her uh, ge- genealogy also her name is written in the matthew chapter 1 so such a way god blessed her and ex- exalted her so elisha the prophet he selected by god but here the bible says he is uh, not the very number one person he is the 12th person he is uh, working in the 12th phase if you read first kings chapter 19 verse 19 god chose in the last person worked in the field as a great prophet so you may be lost in your family you may going through lots of sickness so hereafter where is my hope 
who will come and help me today the lord is you should know that you are selected by god you are chosen by god for the great plan and purpose the god's anointing will come upon you and exalt you so jesus chosen 12 disciple to be with him all the time they are not intellectual people but they are selected personally by jesus by looking their heart so pray more lord is looking your heart in your heart if you are having the same worries sorrows pain kind of a worldly people thinking the same thing is there you can't able to receive your blessing today open your heart lord i am selected even the worldly people rejected me but you are selected me jesus help me like that you have to pray more read the bible more you will never lack any good thing several times we are looking the people to receive our blessing that's why god is not able to bless you today look upon only jesus don't look upon the people for your need don't look upon the people any time for your need all the time look upon jesus jesus he is selected you for a great and great and mighty plan is waiting for you surely the lord will bless you and exalt you the saul who selected by god and became a paul in the bible if you read about him how much he against for jesus the name of the lord how much he did great problematic things for the god's people but god selected him god selected him then he changed then he followed jesus and pray and filled with the holy spirit and he is the one who given us the lots of epistle with a great revelation of the holy spirit also the gifts of the holy spirit in your family also some people are not yet receive the salvation they are against jesus christ don't say any wrong with them don't fight with them pray for them love them forgive them because bible says love your enemies love your enemies that is the main concept of bible jesus practiced and applied he successfully fulfilled that promise also we have to also love everyone we should not hate anyone one day will come god the almighty god through the grace of god they may be selected by god to do great things we don't know but god is having a great plan and purpose for every one those who are in this world they so have. finally one great selection came upon the godly couple the parents of jesus christ joseph and mary both of them gone through lots of struggle to bring jesus christ in this world but one thing they waited for messiah they waited for messiah that's why god chose them to bring jesus christ dear friends now only one thing is ahead of us only one prophecy yet to be fulfilled that is the second coming of the lord jesus christ every day we should pray for the lord jesus christ lord you jesus you come you come lord you come lord jesus that should be the great prayer for the selected people the chosen people we should pray for the second coming of the lord jesus christ every day then the god's mighty things will happen god will use us mightily the great things are going to be come in your lives through the spiritual grace of the holy spirit god is selecting the people to pray with jesus pray with him you are selected by god to pray pray whatever may be the worldly problem it will go away automatically you should pray for the second coming of the lord jesus christ if you are having the burden lord many people yet to receive the salvation throughout the globe lord many people used to come into your kingdom of god such a burden if you are praying every day you are selected by god god will do everything for you in your life you will never lack anything God is going to be the provider he is going to be your healer he is going to be your deliverer he is going to the mighty kings he is going to be the great god he will do great things in your life let's close our eyes and look unto god in prayer right now 
the grace of the lord jesus christ is coming upon every one of us every one of us today you should know that you are selected you are selected by the heavenly father the heavenly selection is upon you you are chosen you are selected for the great plan don't give up don't give up even though you may not have the worldly wisdom and knowledge but the god want to give the heavenly wisdom heavenly wisdom and knowledge is coming upon you today the lord is going to make you a extraordinary person you are no more an ordinary you are extraordinary the lord is going to use you mightily mightily today start to pray more start to love jesus more start to read the bible more this is the only thing we can do through that the god's blessings will come upon you come upon you how many of you are selected by god today ask the lord fill me anoint me lord i need the anointing of the holy spirit kitne log ko pavitra atma ka abhishek abhi tak nahi mila hai sab log abhi mukh khol ke mujhe abhishek chahiye parameshwar mujhe pavitra atma ka abhishek se bhar de bhar de sare ye duniya ka cheez ko दूर कर मेरा हृदय से परमेश्वर मुझे पवित्र आत्मा से भर दे भर दे कितने लोग अभी प्रार्थना कर रहे हैं सबके ऊपर पवित्र आत्मा का एक विशेष अभिषेक आ रहा है रिसीव द होली स्पिरिट पवित्र आत्मा से भर दे भर दे प्रभु सबको भर दे हर एक व्यक्ति को चूले इस मसीह के नाम से धन्यवाद धन्यवाद यीशु आपका आशीषों के लिए धन्यवाद आपका कृपा के लिए धन्यवाद एवरी वन क्राई टू गाड क्राई टू गाड लॉर्ड यू आर चूस एन मी यू आर सेलेक्टेड मी लॉर्ड गिव मी द ग्रेस टू प्रे मोर गिव मी द ग्रेस टू रीड द बाइबल मोर how many of you are asking now the holy spirit is coming now the holy spirit is coming such a people since you are selected by god god will do everything god will do everything you no need to worry for anything the heaven will take in care of you the heavenly providence will come upon you the heavenly supply the heavenly grace will come upon your family you will never lack anything in your life thank you lord for your blessings lord be with your children and bless them let everyone start to pray for the second coming of the lord jesus christ lord let everyone should know that jesus is going to be come back very soon lord this is the alert message we should know that every day lord jesus we should expect you for every day every second we should be watchful lord we should be watchful lord any time jesus can come lord make us more holy make us more holy lord we should prepare like a virgin the written in the bible lord we should be ready for any time jesus give us the grace lord in this world we can't take anything anything lord the important thing is jesus the number one important thing is the holy spirit lord we should be full of the god's grace and mercy lord thank you jesus thank you jesus abhi pavitra atma ka samar sabke upar aa raha hai kitne log ko kamzuri hai kitne log ko parivar mein shaitan ke kaam kar raha hai sare bandhan yesu masi ke naam se tud ja tud ja abhi shek aa raha hai सारे बंधन को परमेश्वर अभी तोड़ रहा है यीशु मसीह के नाम से यीशु मसीह के नाम से सारे कमजोरी दूर हो जा दूर हो जा यीशु मसीह के नाम से छुटकारा छुटकारा कितने लोग आत्मी जीवन में उन्नति पाने के लिए प्रार्थना करने ऐसे लोग को जीवन में सारे ही दुनिया का पाप सारे ही दुनिया का बंधन को परमेश्वर दूर कर रहा है अभी पवित्र आत्मा का अभिषेक पवित्र आत्मा का अभिषेक सबके ऊपर आ रहा है पवित्र आत्मा का अभिषेक से भर दे प्रभु थैंक यू जीसस थैंक यू लॉर्ड धन्यवाद ईश्वर आपका आशीषों के लिए आदर महिमा आपके लिए देते हैं इस मसीह के नाम से मांगते हैं आमेन आमेन आमेन